In this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy a GitHub project on Vercel, step by step. This is a complete Vercel deployment tutorial for beginners, or anyone who's curious about how to host a website or front-end project from GitHub using Vercel. Step 1. Create and upload your project to GitHub. To begin, go to GitHub and create a new repository. In this tutorial, we're building a simple to-do list web app but the same method works for React apps, Next.js projects, or any static site deployment using Vercel. I'll name the repository To Do. You can skip the description for now and click Create Repository. Now we'll upload the project files. Go to the Quick Setup section, and instead of dragging and dropping, we'll click Upload Files and select files directly from your file manager. I'm uploading an index.html file for this basic HTML project. After selecting the files, click Commit Changes to push them to GitHub. Step 2. Connect GitHub to Vercel for continuous deployment. Now that your code is live on GitHub, go to vercel.com, a popular platform for free hosting of GitHub projects, especially for front-end developers and Jamstack apps. Click on Start Deploying. Next. Click Continue with GitHub. You'll be asked to authenticate your GitHub account to link it with Vercel. If you're already logged in on another tab, Vercel will detect it automatically. Click Import Git Repository. Then choose whether to grant Vercel access to all your GitHub repositories or just specific ones. For better control, I recommend selecting only specific repositories. Select the To Do repository and click Install. Step 3. Configure and deploy your GitHub project on Vercel. Once your repository is connected, Vercel will ask for some basic project settings. Project name, you can leave it as to do. Framework preset. Since this is a plain HTML project, choose other. Now click deploy. And just like that, Vercel will begin deploying your project. This is one of the easiest ways to host a GitHub project without backend and it's ideal for static site hosting, front-end prototyping, and free website deployment using Vercel. Step 4. View your deployed site on Vercel. Once the deployment is complete, you'll get a live project URL. Click Visit in the top right corner or simply use the domain generated by Vercel. Here's the to-do list app we just uploaded, fully hosted and live. For example, if I type Record Video and hit Enter, it's added to the list. It's working perfectly. Step 5. Managing your project on Vercel Dashboard. From the Vercel Dashboard, you can manage all your deployed projects. Click the arrow next to your account name, select Projects, and click into the one you just deployed. You can view deployment logs, custom domain settings, environment variables, and more, all in one place. Also, remember, Anytime you push updates to GitHub, Vercel automatically redeploys your project, making it perfect for continuous deployment workflows. And that's it. You've now learned how to deploy a GitHub project on Vercel, even if you're a beginner. This method works for deploying static websites from GitHub, hosting portfolio sites on Vercel, deploying HTML, CSS, JavaScript projects, and even advanced use cases like Next.js deployment from GitHub to Vercel. If this helped you, please like, subscribe, and drop a comment if you have any questions.